the position battle everybody's focusing on is quarterback. Yeah. I'm sure you did some summer throwing sessions with those guys. What did you see from them from when spring ended to now? I mean, they both, uh, Cole Kelly and Ty Stewart, they both had their their um, their adva- their st- strengths and weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they they're consistent. Uh, they they both can put the ball in in little windows, and they both make great decisions at at, at the quarterback position. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see the, the competition, how it shapes out between those two guys. It's only going to make the team better. Yeah. You know, two guys fighting for one job is only going to make us better. Cole looks so much different right now. Oh, he's, he's slim. Yeah. He's a skinny guy. Yeah. He's dropped like 20, 30 pounds or something like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, all, all the all the glory there goes to Coach Drew and his staff. You know, he's been working us. And, uh, well, he's been working us to death. You yeah. know, I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, the, the trans, transformation is – is, is evident between Cole. I guess what we see from Cole is just a lot of drop back passing stuff. When when you actually see him and some of the more advanced things that you're doing, do you see a difference in his mobility? Yeah, I mean you can see that uh, he he's that, and that's what he's been working on. He's he's been working on trying to be more of a dual threat guy mm. um, because uh, a lot of people have said that that's his weakness mm-hmm. uh, from the outside world. So uh, he he's taking a, he has a chip on his shoulder to to become better at that uh, as well as Ty. You know those guys are just competing. Cole was known as a power runner in some yeah. of those packages that you guys did last yeah. year. Has he lost any of that? No, he's still – a lot of that stuff with Cole is uh, his mindset. He thinks he's a fullback. Yeah. Uh, so he's still going to be trying to run over guys on Saturday. What about in terms of how they've led you guys in, in the summer? What, what were your thoughts in, in that regard? Yeah, I mean, they're both great leaders. Um, and, you know, that's what you want out of a starting quarterback. Yeah. Um, that's why it's going to be so hard to pick which guy's going to start for us on Saturday. So – yeah. Is there anything we can take away? Like, for instance, when you guys were doing, I can't even remember which drill it was, but it looked like there were a lot of first-team linemen uh-huh. running backs. I mean, can, can, can you say that Ty Story was, you know, taking the first snaps today? Can, there, can well, you read anything into that? No, we were ro- we were rotating. Okay. So, it, you know, every first rack, there's a different quarterback in there, so you can't really say mm-hmm. I wouldn't say the judge, you know, whoever the first quarterback on the field that y'all saw, it wouldn't, yeah. you know, it wouldn't like that. They're rotating, and they're getting equal reps. Yeah, equal reps with the first and second yeah. teams? Yeah. What, yes, what about for other players? I mean, do you see that happen in other positions? Uh, yeah. I mean, um, the first, the, the first, re- first two receiver groups, they, we rotate yeah. with the ones and twos. Okay. So we 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 got six guys right now that are rotating in with the ones every you know, every four plays. You know, so. 